exactly what you want to see. Let's run this puppy in. Score a touchdown and tie this game. Life, run for your life, touchdown on one play. Worked on this in practice. Touchdown. It's up to Kelvin Benjamin. This is all you, buddy. Kelvin Benjamin for a touchdown. Oh, he toasted his man. Holmes toasted his man. Spin move. Oh! Oh! What's going on guys and welcome back to the video here on the World of Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday Madden 13 edition with the Green Bay Packers rebuild. That's right, we return and we start the fourth season? Fourth season? I think it's the fourth season. We're in week number one of year number four, I'm pretty sure. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's year number four. I don't know, you guys can tell me down below if I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong, but you get, I don't, I don't know. We start a new season in this episode. Last year was a little bit weird. We made the playoffs with a roster that I certainly didn't think we were going to. Then we go to the wild card game and get beat by the Seahawks. So we were one and done in the postseason, which is not what I wanted to do. Then we go to the off season and we have a decent off season, nothing special, but we have a, a pretty decent off season, draft a couple good players, uh, some players that I really, really wanted that ended up turning out to be really good with their ratings got taken earlier than expected. So I'm still angry about that, but we move on to the next season and that's where this video starts. If you guys are excited to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club, let's get into it. So here we are, Week number one, the 2015 season is what we're at right now. And our offense currently ranks 13th. Our defense currently ranks 20th. Now, if you guys have forgotten what the roster looks like, I can quickly show you that. We still have Aaron Rodgers, as uh, we probably will this entire series. Now, I don't know how long the series is going to go. I say probably five seasons like we did with Madden 17. And then we'll move on to another another game and since this is year number four we'll probably do another year after this and then that'll be it so it won't go on for too much longer but we have Aaron Rodgers as the quarterback we have Richard Mendenhall and Algernon Nelson who hopefully will take over Mendenhall pretty soon then at wide receiver we have Greg Jennings AJ Green who we signed in the offseason that was our big free agent signing Jordy Nelson Randall Cobb Poppy Richardson, Takai Williams, and Terrence Cheeseboro. Hopefully these three guys can turn into something. I don't know. Then at tight end, we have Jermichael Finley and Delaney Walker. The offensive line is good. Aaron Williams, TJ Lang, uh, David Molk is our center. Then we have Josh Sitton and Brian Bulaga. And we got on the defensive line, we got Mike Daniels. We've got Terrell Hill, uh, Jarrell Worthy, and Bruce Irving. Uh, Irvin. Then we got B.J. Raji, uh, Dewan Artizone, Willis Williams. What a name that is, Willis Williams. <laughs> the D-tackle spot's a little weak. We got Nick Perry. We've got A.J. Hawk and J.C. Singleton. And we've got Clay Matthews and Lance Briggs, which is the big, the big other big sign that we got. Tremont Williams at corner with Sam Shields, Mike Ottle, Casey Hayward, Wesley Williams, Pierce Brown, and Tunai Davis or Tooney Davis. I don't know how to say his name. I'm going to say Tunai because that sounds the best. <laughs> Uh, Morgan Burnett and Jerron McMillan and then Charles Woodson and Jalen Washington are the safeties uh, The strong safeties and Mason Crosby is the kicker Tim Maste is the punter So that's what the roster is looking like headed into year number four It's pretty much the same as what it's been for a while with here and there a couple pieces thrown in But we are going to Do we play week one against the Browns? You know, we might as well We might as well play week one against the Browns do the offensive stuff and see what happens Let's get into it. Let's see if this offense can be better than what it was last year. Because at times, we looked unstoppable. But at other times, I couldn't throw the ball. So, let's go more towards the unstoppable. Opening week is a special occasion. And you can bet both sides will treat it as such in this matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Green Bay Packers here at Lambeau Field. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. And, Phil, it's the start of a whole new season. There's a sense of renewal in the air and all kinds of hope. And how do you feel about getting this season underway? Ah, oh, Jim, this is like Christmas, man. I go down there, I open up a present. I have no idea what's inside that box. And that's what the coaches are thinking. 
They're not sure about their football teams. They don't know, but they're going to get some of those answers here today. And whatever happens, don't judge your whole season. I realize it's just one game. Make the corrections and move on. Phil, you've often told me there is nothing like the speed, the energy, the healthy conditions of all the players when a season first gets started. It's going to be fast and furious when this game takes off, Jim. So be careful. Don't make the early mistake. We start the game, second down and 10, our first drive of the day against the Cleveland Browns. I don't know how good they're going to be. I'm going to dump this off to Richard Mendenhall. He's going to almost break a tackle. I, ho I wish he would have because we might have had a big time gain if he would have broken that tackle. Do we go Greg Jennings deep? That could be an option here. Or we go quickly to Jordy Nelson. This Browns defensive line is getting quickly through my offensive line. And I got to find some passes quickly. Maybe play action is not the best option. Play action is probably not the best. Let's go with a deep pass here. Greg Jennings could be open. Cheeseboro could be open one-on-one. -on -one. I got to get that away quickly. It's Rashard Mendenhall. He's going to get the first down. Man, these this Browns team is getting through quickly. I don't even have any time to think about where I'm going. I just have to throw it. They are coming in quick. Hot and heavy for this Browns team. Cheeseboro's open. Cheeseboro will catch it. I dropped the controller. I was just so excited that Cheeseboro caught it. Good job, Terrence. That's what I want to see from you. We're going to run this ball with Mendenhall. First run of the day. And that's going to be going nowhere, really. That's going nowhere. The Packers playbook certainly lends itself to a lot of play action, that's for sure. Can we get this to Jermichael Finley? I got to throw that away. Jermichael Finley was never open, and that was my only read. He was never open. But this could be open. This has got potential. Greg Jennings, Randall Cobb. I got to get it away. It's Jennings who catches it, gets us a little bit closer. And we are fourth and goal. Uh, we got to go for this. We got to go for this. Algernon Nelson's in. Did we give that to Jermichael? We do, and Jermichael Finley gets the touchdown. That was a little risky. I didn't know if I wanted to do that or not. That was a little bit... I think I got to kick this field goal now. Why do I always do that? Crosby, it's up and good. And we lead the Cleveland Browns 7 to nothing. That offensive line, though, struggling a little bit to keep these Browns out of the way. I don't know if I like that long term. I guess we'll have to find out what happens. And the defense is doing really good. Can we turn them over? I think we just did there. There we go. Turning the Browns over. I think that big that sack was what helped us. Now let's see if the offensive line can hold us a little bit longer this time. It doesn't look like it, but we got Greg Jennings. And it's going to go incomplete. Okay. I was expecting that, but I some part of me thought that was going to be completed. One on one, Randall Cobb, go get it! Come on, Randall. You're one on one and you had the inside leverage? Complete that pass, man. Or catch that pass, I should say. Is this gonna work? Jermichael finally! TJ Ward with the interception there. Well, that didn't work out. I need the, the D plays work. They just, I got to have a little bit more time. Oh, the, are they going to, oh, we're, we're in on offense. I didn't realize, oh, no, we're not. I skipped a, a drive there. I didn't realize I was on offense. I thought they were going to score a touchdown. We are going to punt the ball back to the Browns. They scored the touchdown there. Okay. If I wouldn't have screwed up the drive there, we wouldn't have had to do that. This Browns defense seems to be pretty good, at least right now. That's Jermichael Finley. That's a rough shot 
from whoever hit him. I don't know who it was, but that was a rough shot. Second down and one. Are we going to have an ability to have somebody open? We're going to have Mendenhall, but the pass was way ahead of him. I don't know what Rodgers was doing there. We're 0 for 3 on third down. That's not where you want to be. Oh, Mendenhall. Mendenhall, you can't drop that. Come on, man. I put that on your hands. How, did, how, how the heck you drop that? Go for it, Rodgers. Of course, the moment I decide to run up the middle, both of the tackles and instantly shed their blocks and I can't get through. No, I don't want to... I don't want to challenge the play. Yeah, I know it was going to backfire because it clearly wasn't a, a thing. I didn't mean to challenge it. I just wanted to super sim. Uh, that's what I get for not looking at what I'm doing. And Trent Richardson scored. We're down 14-7 to against this Cleveland offense. And my deep plays are not working. The secondary is keeping these guys on lockdown. That's not good. Jeez, Jenkins was in the backfield before I even finished the play action. <laughs> I barely, I wasn't even like a second removed from faking the handoff to Rashard Mendenhall and Jenkins was already there. Oh, that's a big time play, but Aaron Rodgers, are you kidding me? Why was that such a bad pass? Maybe we don't need Aaron Rodgers. Maybe Rodgers has served his purpose on this team and he just can't do anything else. That's a good possibility. I think that was my fault. I think I turned into him and then I screwed it up. But Rodgers needs to be more accurate. I don't know what he's doing. I'm going to give the offense a drive by themselves and see what happens. Did we get the ball back? Okay, we got the ball back. I'm going to let them do the drive and see what happens. Can they score to tie the game up? They kick a field goal. Okay. Let's see what happens here. That's a lot of incomplete passes. But Trent Richardson for a 23-yard or 43-yard passing touchdown. And we scored a 69-yard rushing touchdown by Aaron Rodgers. What? A 69-yard rushing touchdown by Aaron Rodgers? Okay. And Rashad Mendenhall with a 56-yard touchdown. I don't know what's going on with these long passes. I'll take it, I guess. And they score a touchdown. So we're down by three. Down by three. Late fourth quarter. I kind of don't want to jump in now and screw this game up. Because I haven't been able to do anything. But the, simula the simulation has been able to, to keep this game close and even take the lead for a little bit. Is that going to be two-minute warning? It is the two-minute warning. <sighs> Are we going to lose this game? Probably. We're probably going to lose this game. That's a quick throw. That's Greg Jennings. I'll take it. That's a big-time play. Matt Castle's got 325 yards. Matt Castle with 325 yards. I guess. I sub subaha. I always turn into Jabba the Hut when I do that. <laughs> I don't try to. We are in field goal range for Mason Crosby. It'd be a deep one, but we are in field goal range. That's a deep ball. No way he reached that. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I had my main man open for a touchdown. We haven't completed a third down all game. Are we poverty? Get it away. Complete it. Catch it. Jermichael almost caught it. All right. Let's let the, the field goal team kick it if we can. Are they going to choose to feed? I may as well make the kick. Actually, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it. Whatever they choose is not up to me. It's not up to me. 54-yarder was good. We tie the game. So are we going to overtime? We are going to overtime. Now, old school overtime was both teams get a possession. Is that how it is? 
No, old school overtime was first score wins. That's right. Duh. What? What? Who get college overtime? Is both teams get a possession? If you score, you lose, or you if you score, you win in overtime in old school Madden. So we lose this game in overtime against the Cleveland Browns. That's kind of annoying, but whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I did not play good in this game at all. 17 of 31, 285 yards, two touchdowns and a pick for Aaron Rodgers. Rushing, Mendenhall had five carries for 10 yards. And Aaron Rodgers, for some reason, had three carries, 72 yards and a touchdown. I don't know what he did, but he had like a 40-plus yard touchdown run. Uh, Jordy Nelson, five catches, 99 yards. Mendenhall had 80, ca uh, 80 yards and a touchdown. Jermichael Finley also had an another touchdown. Defensively, Clay Matthews with 12 tackles. We had three sacks, no, four sacks. Terrell Hill, BJ Raji, Clay Matthews had two. Who got the pick? Mike Odell? Yeah, he got the interception. Okay. We do lose the game, but we put up some decent stats. All right, we start the season 0-1. Let's simulate this game against the Cowboys and see what happens here. We got three team passing touchdowns. That's a good start. Maybe that means that we got the W. I don't know. I sure hope so, because we need to start the season better than 0-2. We need a big time win here. Against Dallas. What did we get? We got a win. I'll take it. We got to keep negotiating with Mason Crosby. I, I guess he didn't like my first offer that I gave him which was far more than I was willing to give to a kicker anyway. So I'll give you that. We'll see what you say to that. We also got to bring back AJ Hawk and John Kuhn. I'm willing to give AJ a little bit more because I do like AJ Hawk. So I'm willing to give him... I'm willing to give him that. See what he says to that. Thanks, coach. And then we'll bring back John Kuhn just because I, I can't be bothered to get another fullback. <laughs> I don't really run a lot of fullback sets, uh, and when I do, I like having a good fullback, so I'll just bring back John Kuhn because it's simple. It should be, at least. We'll see what he says to that. Luckily, fullbacks don't need that much money. And we play the Steelers, who are also 1-1 one one on the year. Okay. So, Steelers, are they good? Are they bad? I don't know yet. It's too early to tell. Hopefully we can find out if they're bad or not because we need to get a win. Another win to go 2-1? and one? I want to see that. Give me a 2-1 and one victory or a 2-1 and one season. Contract accepted by all of the boys. Crosby accepts. Hawk accepts. Coon accepts. We also have Nick Perry, but we're running low on stuff. We do beat the, the Steelers, though, and now we play the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay. I'll give a little bit of money to Nick Perry. And I'll give him a cool million dollar signing bonus. We'll see what he says to that. We'll see what he says to that. Alright, 2-1 and one versus 2-1. and one. Philadelphia. What do you got for me? We had 500 total team yards. I like that. I'm guessing that other weekly goal is a passing touchdown record. Or a goal. I don't know what the milestone goal is. Can we go three and one? We can. All right. It was three passing touchdowns. The milestone goal is 600 total yards. Contract accepted by Nick Perry. Now we have Bruce Irvin and Delaney Walker. All right. Do we have any good XP from some of the boys progressing? What about wider? I'm looking for Terrence Cheeseboro. He's got 358 XP. Okay. Algernon's got 2,000. I can't... Uh, I'll just save his... I'll save all these guys XP. Aaron Rodgers got a lot of XP. Maybe I can spend Aaron's? What really matters to him? Probably awareness matters the most. Or maybe throw on the run, but that's going to cost us a lot. Yeah, awareness to go up even more is probably going to cost us a little bit too much. So we won't go with that just yet. He's got good stats already. I don't even know what would bump up his his uh, overall at, all, at like I don't even know what would. So we're just gonna let these guys have their XP sit and grow for a little bit. We're playing the two and one Chicago Bears. 
Let's see if we can get the W there. Give me a W against the Bears. I need it. Duh, Bears. We got three more passing touchdowns. And probably a big amount of yards, I'd say. Come on. You know you want to give it to me. Give it to me clean. Give it to me hard. It is a 4-1 and one record for the Green Bay Packers. So we had a rough start. But we are back, boys. We got 12,000 scouting points. Or 12,000. 1,200 scouting points is what I meant. And I want to find out what Trayvon Mills' is overall is. It's a B. Okay. Sean Lenke. I don't know how to say your name. I apologize. Ben Hadley. He's a B overall. Uh, Deshanta Baird is a B tight end. Bryant Black is a C. Drew Rea is a C. All right, so not very many good players in this class. But that's okay. Because we've got the 3-2 and two New York Giants on the ledger today. Come on. I want to see a 1 in that loss column, and I want to see a 5 in that win column. Give it to me. Give it to me hard, baby. Come on. I want to see that win. I want to see it. And it's a loss to the New York Giants. Okay. BJ Coleman is up for an, a negotiation. We got a lot of our backups, are, and a lot of the guys that aren't going like, to cost too much money are up for extensions. Playing the Detroit Lions this week. Okay. Is that going to be a big time W? I mean, they're the Detroit Lions. Can we get that fifth victory? I would really much appreciate that. I would appreciate it more than a loss, that's for sure. You know you want to give it to me. You know you want to. And we do. Five and two. We have the second ranked offense in the league. That's pretty good. I say that's pretty good. We got a lot of guys that we need to re-sign. I'll probably all wait wait to do that till the offseason. Progress the players. Has anybody got even more XP? Rodgers has gotten more XP. Richard Menonal has got a lot of XP. What are the wide receivers sitting at? Cheeseboro isn't getting a lot of XP. These two guys aren't even playing. Jordy Nelson's got some decent XP. What can get his uh, his uh, upgrade? I don't even know. Probably elusiveness? Or his awareness would probably go up, get his overall up. Okay. So we just spent his, his XP, all of his XP. Did that even get his overall up? I don't even know. Uh, he's an 88 now. Maybe that, I think he might have been an 87 at one point. That's a lot of XP for Greg Jennings. Gotta get his catch and traffic up. And then might as well do his carrying. Get it up to a 65. Get it up to a 66. Does that move him up at, overall at all? Maybe. Probably not. He's a 93 still, so that probably didn't move him up. Uh, Algernon still got about 4,000. Mendenhall's got 14,000, so he's doing pretty good. We are playing the 4-2 Carolina Panthers, who have a top-5 defense ranked currently in the NFL. It's going to be a tough matchup. A top-2 offense versus a top-3 defense. Who is going to win out? Your guess is about as good as mine, I'll say that. And we lost. That's fitting. <laughs> That's fitting. We play the Vikings next episode, who is a really bad team. Let's do just a little bit more scouting. Ooh, both of these guys are from Ohio State. Oh, look at that. I might as well scout them then if they're from Ohio State. He's a B. He's a B. Okay. What about this? Not this right guard. We already know what he is. What about this right tackle? Sylvester Rosemond. Not really good. Will McCormick. Not that good. And then a thousand points left. I guess I'll just save those thousand points. And that'll do it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Peace.